Here's how hot weather affects electric car range. Hey EV lovers, welcome to EVpedia, your ultimate hub for electric vehicles. If you're as excited about EVs as we are, hit that subscribe button, give us a like, and drop a comment below. And if you want to help us bring even more amazing content, consider giving us a super thanks. Everybody knows cold weather has a big impact on the driving range of electric cars, but what about when it's scorching hot? A new study from Recurrent, which analyzed battery readings from 7,500 electric vehicles, found that electric vehicles can lose as much as 31% of their advertised range in sweltering weather. That's because getting a sweltering cabin to cool down when it's 100 degrees outside can take a lot of energy out of the high-voltage battery. But even so, there are ways to alleviate the problem, and more importantly, it's good to know that range loss in the summer is much less pronounced than in the freezing winter. According to recurrence data, as the temperature goes up, so does the potential range loss, as more energy needs to be used to cool down the scorching interior. Depending on the ambient temperature, here's what you can expect. At 75F, 24C 0% range loss. At 80F, 27C 2.8% range loss. At 85F, 29C 3.5% range loss. At 90F, 32C 5% range loss. At 95F, 35C 15% range loss. At 100F, 38C 31% range loss. The higher the difference between the ambient temperature and the climate control temperature, the more energy will be used, leading to a higher range loss compared to the advertised figure. Just like in the winter, the best solution to avoid range loss is to keep the car plugged into your home charger and pre-cool the interior before setting off. This way, the cabin gets nice and cool and doesn't use energy from the battery. Instead, it takes it from the mains. According to Recurrent, the AC system in a modern EV can use 3 to 5 kilowatts of power for the initial cooldown, and then the power usage settles around 1 kilowatt to maintain the set temperature. The analytics company shared several graphs showing how individual EVs are affected by the hot weather. The discontinued Chevrolet Bolt EV's real-world range is most affected at 60 and 95 degrees Fahrenheit, where it can lose roughly 5% to 8% of its advertised range. At the same time, however, the real-world range when it's 80 degrees outside can surpass the official range rating by about 5%, according to data pulled from 13 vehicles enrolled in the recurrent platform. The Hyundai Kona Electric outperformed its estimated EPA range in all warm weather conditions, offering between 122% and 130% of its advertised range when driving between 60 to 95 degrees Fahrenheit ambient temperatures. The Ford Mustang Mach-E, on the other hand, only outperformed its EPA range between 80 and 95 degrees, while driving at 60 degrees Fahrenheit resulted in a drop of roughly 7% in real-world range, according to data pulled from 20 vehicles. When it comes to Tesla EVs, they offer the most consistent range readings no matter how hot it is outside. However, according to Recurrent, they only offer roughly 60% of their advertised range numbers in real-world conditions, so take that as you may. The minimal range losses due to hot weather are due to the highly efficient heat pump that handles both cooling and heating for new Tesla models. Recurrent said that a Tesla EV, be it the Model 3, Model Y, Model S, or Model X, can use as little as 1 kilowatt or as much as 6 kilowatts to cool the cabin, but on average, that figure is between 1 and 3 kilowatts. What's your take on this? Have you experienced range loss during very hot summer days? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for today's episode of EVpedia. If you had fun, subscribe, like, and share your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to give us a super thanks to support our channel. Thanks for watching and stay charged. Until next time, keep it electric.